Ah, uh, imagine the idyllic life of living on your own boat. The waves rocking you to sleep at night and lazy days at the tiller with not a care in the world. For years, boat ownership has been considered a very expensive hobby reserved for the upper middle class and the rich. It is true that some boats are very expensive to buy, store, and maintain. If you know where to look and when, you can get a boat for free or almost free. Hi, I'm Alan Stokel, and on this episode of Budget Boat Cruising, how to get a free or almost free boat. This video looks at the various options and strategies for a free or inexpensive boat. Dozens of powerboats and sailboats are given away in North America every year. We explore what to look for and how to keep a boat for little or no money. So get a pen and paper uh, as you'll want to record all the tips on how you, you can make boat ownership inexpensive. Ah yes, project boats. So the definition of a project boat might be a boat that requires a lot of work to get it in proper working order. Often they do not float. Now by the way, for more definitions such as port, starboard, aft, stern, and if you're not familiar with the basic nautical terms, please see my video on how to talk like a sailor. So where do you look for free or almost free or cheap boats? This is the easy part. Kijiji, Craigslist, Boneyard Boats, and Freeboats.com. Also there's Wooden Boat Magazine and they have a free boat section in every issue. Now, any harbor master can tell you where the free boats are. If you look in their boatyard, you'll see some boats the harbor master will know the owner will gladly let go for free. Now, they're especially plentiful in the northeast in the fall, that's where I live, uh, and during uh, divorce season, <laughs> whenever that is. Um, Divorce season tends to produce a lot of project boats such as must be removed from my yard before such and such a date or um, you can trade something for instance if you don't have any money maybe you can trade something you're not using anymore like a car or a motorcycle. Now when is a free boat not free? When you have to pay someone to move it when there's a lien or money owing on the boat. Ask yourself before you get the boat, where can I winter store this? If you have to winter store. How much will it cost to fix, clean, or repair? Who's going to do the work? This is why I would never take a free wooden boat myself. Now, are you willing to take the time or do you have the time available to do the work yourself? If you do, you can save a lot of money bringing boats back. But do remember slides, slides, storage, licensing, insurance, and docking and other extras. Well, more on that later. Now, I like my videos to be five minutes or less, and for that matter, so does Google and uh, YouTube. So, um, I'm nowhere near finished, so there's another video in here. So, um, we'll have to finish up next time. Now, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest videos. So, when I post the second part of how, how to get a boat for free, 
you'll be notified if you subscribe now. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Alan Stokow.